The remnants of Debbie are expected to bring us even more rain and severe storms. Yeah, Bill's going to tell you all about that right now. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a pretty active day around the area, guys, and that's why we are on weather alert for your day tomorrow because of severe storm potential, flooding potential, and the wind potential. An inch or two of rain, gusts of wind without any storm activity, just the winds themselves, 40 to maybe 50 miles per hour, and we have some isolated tornadoes. So here's the system. Get right to it, this counterclockwise spin. It's no longer a tropical storm. It's tropical depression and the remnant moisture working its way on up. But throughout Virginia, up to D.C., parts of Maryland, down into North Carolina, that is where the severe risk is tonight. Tomorrow, that moves up into our area, and it is a 2 out of 5. It's slight risk. That means scattered severe storms possible for our entire region. This includes an elevated risk for tornadoes. We're in that 5% risk, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but it is certainly it's on the number two on the scale here, uh, and it does include all of I-95, so that is going to be a threat that we're watching very closely. Now, your future cast, we're finally starting to see the rain dry out of Delaware, Chester County, and Berks County. The rain will move out. It's just spotty showers for the rest of tonight. Your morning drive, you're going to go out and about. It's going to be cloudy. The winds are going to start picking up, perhaps a stray shower or two but shouldn't be anything widespread. Kate is in in the morning. She's going to be walking you through everything that's going on tomorrow morning. It's mainly just going to be some spotty showers through about, say, at 10 to noon. But here's a line that we're watching closely. That main system is going to be moving through our area. So here's a look at noon. Our far western counties starting to see the stronger storms. But watch what happens by 2 o'clock. Now we have storms around the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos down around Berks County, starting to approach Bucks County, Montgomery County here around 3, 4 o'clock. The I-95 corridor is right around the evening commute time tomorrow, and then that starts to move into South Jersey, 7, 8 o'clock, before things start to taper off and it just turns to spotty showers. So it's an afternoon event primarily. This is a timeline. The brighter the color, the greater the impact. Let's start with the rain. I don't really see any impacts for the morning, but then we start to see it go up. That greatest impact for rain going to be in that, say, 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. time frame. When we're looking at wind, and I'm not talking about storms, I'm just talking about winds with this system. We start to see impacts as you walk out the door tomorrow. Winds are going to be gusting up to maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. The gustiest of that's going to be right ahead of that line before the winds start tapering off. And the severe potential, the biggest part of this, the tornado risk, we're looking in that 3, 4, 5 o'clock time frame, 6 o'clock, that is going to be the biggest risk time for all of these. So we have storms moving from west to the east. We have tornadoes possible with the severe storms with that greatest risk time, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. So there is a lot going on tomorrow. That is why we are on the next weather alert. Now is a good time, I mean, maybe not now at 1130 at night, but certainly before the storms roll in, have that plan in the morning. You know, just have, have charger devices, that type of thing, because we are going to be on weather alert through a good portion of the day. We are not there for the weekend, though. Weekend is into the 80s. I don't see anything of any significance as we roll into next week, so there will be some drying time, and boy, do we need it. Several events this week, the one two days ago in Burlington County, up in the Lehigh Valley, and tonight for Delaware County, Chester. We're talking inches, if not a foot of rain in spots, and we definitely are going to get more tomorrow. <laughs> we will continue to walk wow. you through. It's an active day. Yeah, the whole team's uh, going to be on it, and we'll get through it. Hopefully, we'll get through it well, but it has that potential to have some strong storms, guys. And get through it together. Thank you, buddy. Yeah.